Now, uh, Christine was just talking about the oil prices, and for more on oil, we're joined by Thomas Buckheimer, CEO of Meridian Commodity Advisors. So, Thomas, good to have you with us today. Oil is up by $5 one day, down by $5 the next day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What's behind these very big fluctuations in oil at the moment? Uh, according to the queuing theory, uh, is whenever a market is close to its capacity, like the oil market is because we don't have any spare capacities, uh, big volatility comes in. And I think that's responsible for these five to six to seven uh, dollar moves every day, uh, almost every day right now. Yeah, and, and how long can we expect this to continue? I think. Uh, we have a kind of a special situation right now because we are two months ahead of an election, a presidential election. So I don't think that we will test uh, the former highs we had. Uh, uh, I think we will go in a high volatile sideways uh, movement. But the big picture in the oil market didn't change at all. We are still producing under big uh, oil peak production and we are uh, no substitute for carbonated energy is found and will show up quickly. And I think the demand is stable, but the growing race in demand is reducing a little bit, which is responsible for the back move in prices in the last couple of weeks. Thomas, this is Christine here. We see oil head back below $110 a barrel. Is that dollar oil relationship, is that going to be still intact? Of course, uh, I think it's, uh, the oil price is more uh, a thing of currency or are created by the currency and by the US dollar than it is by demand supply equation. So I think the US dollar is very important to the oil price, but now uh, by a nice coincidence in an election year, we have two months ahead of the election, we have nice uh, moves, uh, up moves in the US dollar. So uh, that's the reason why, another reason why the oil price went down. Thomas, it's Brian Shackman here in the U.S. We've had such a range of reactions to geopolitical issues in the last year, whether it's Nigeria or Iran or most recently Georgia. What's your sense of how sensitive the markets are right now to uh, geopolitical situations? Of course, we had the wild swings because of Georgia. Uh, were there any lessons learned from that? I don't know whether we will learn any lessons. The geopolitical uh, impacts are, are there and they will be there every, every day and every week. But the big picture is mainly for me on currency and a bit supply demand situation and the stable demand uh, out of China and India. And the geopolitical stuff is coming in and hitting the oil markets only in shorter terms. It's my opinion. Thomas, this is Christine here. How how worried are OPEC members when it comes to the supply situation? If oil heads below $110 a barrel, are they likely to push for more supply or output cuts? I read yesterday evening, I read that they are trying to reduce the production, but uh, that will turn out on 9th of September when the OPEC uh, will have its general meeting in, in, in Vienna. So I, th I guess we have to wait till 9th of September or a couple of days before when they are announcing their ideas what they are going to discuss. So it's not clear yet what they are going to do. Thomas, thank you for being with us today. Thomas Buckheimer, CEO of Meridian Commodity Advisors.